Deus Vault, my fellow gamers. Here we are. It's been a, a little while, I suppose, but I've been doing things. Um, this dragon had been covered in black primer, and yeah, I gave up on certain parts. I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like scraping all this this crud, like that whole tip of the wing. I'm just like, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. And I'm like, you know, I did so much stuff. So all in the there, all these little scales and stuff. It was yeah, really, you know, very, very bad. But anyway, got some more cork board. A little tombstone back there. A little pile of bones and stuff in the, the middle down there. But what I wanted to do, <clears throat> instead of having the vampire librarian, what I did, I cut the head off that babe and her little bun. And I stuck the empty hood on there. I love that empty hood bit from the skeleton sprue. So I stuck the empty hood bit on there, left one hand uh, positioned that way, kind of like maybe reins, you know, you just use your imagination, but it's real close to that neck there. So maybe she's punching the neck of the dragon, like, I hit you, I, I don't know. But <clears throat> for a weapon, I decided to start with a paperclip for the haft. And since I had made a really chunky sword for the uh, the white on uh, burrowing worm, I went with a giant hammer. I thought, man, you know that'd be cool. Uh, and, you know, obviously there's still breasticles on this person, so you know, just a chick with a giant meat cleaver type hammer, you know, that'd be awesome. And this really is supposed to be a mounted white, uh, not white. What is it? Uh, Revenant king. That's right, Mounted Revenant King on Dragon. Or you could say Flying Burrowing Worm. <clears throat> Either way. So, uh, stuck this skull here is the one that has the hatchet stuck in it from the uh, skeleton sprue. I just carved off some of its spinal column, carved off, of course, the hatchet, drilled a hole in the top, boom, pommel right there. Pretty nice. Uh, here I had some tube, and it fit this uh, paperclip perfectly, so I cut a piece of the tube off just to make like a little bushing, so that the hammerhead has something to sit on top of, that can be painted um, metal and whatnot. This hammerhead, I actually glued two pieces of plastic card together to make it thick and chunky. Uh, you can kind of see the line. And I did my best to scrape it out, but there's a line on the center top part there. Can't see it anymore here or on the bottom for some reason. Nope, nope, there it is, plain as freaking day. Hmm. You know what I might do? You know what I'm going to do? On the top and bottom of this beast, I'm going to take liquid green stuff. And I'm going to smooth it out and then texture it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll try that on the sides or something too. But the top and the bottom, certainly that will be done to hide my seam line. You know, I even sandpapered that mother sucker. I took the the 45 degree angle with my scalpel or you know, exacto knife and scraped it. But still, it's coming up and that's irritating. Anyhow, what I did, I carved the basic shape out. I beveled the back edge where it wouldn't be boring. I was thinking maybe a concrete block would be cool, but I figured, man, you know, give it a different hammer hit, hitting end. But, you know, spent some time, tried to give a meat cleavery look to it, just really rough texture, really like kind of like you don't want to get hit with this daggone thing. I just wanted to make it gruesome. And that is what I think I achieved here. The thing is, is how am I going to get this haft not so pretty looking because that's pretty for the undead that's really nice there's no nicks or anything out of it uh i wanted it a bit thicker actually i wanted to use some uh tube the brass tubing that i have but that was a bit too thick for the hand this paper clip fits the hand perfectly so what i'm doing <clears throat> what i'm gonna do this is all experimental on my part but i think this is gonna work now originally i had some of this Ultra fine Tamiya. Uh, it's uh, like it's masking tape, kind of. I've had it for over a day sitting in my paint box, but it's 
so thin and straight edged and whatnot because this is for like you know precision modeling and whatnot um yeah, yeah it's good for the precision stuff not so good for wrapping a half of an undead hammer not good for that so what i have here is teflon tape you guys can find this at any big box store uh, some people uh they don't call it plumber's putty. That's a different thing. They call it uh, ribbon dope or whatnot. Hincho in Me Malaysia. They don't speak that English in Malaysia. Malaysia but anyway. So this stuff is actually very cool. I use it for plumbing. How it's supposed to be used. But. Where's my end piece here? You know, I've got this thin stuff. That's going to be excellent. But you got to be able to find your end stopping point or you can cut it oh man that is actually going to be perfect look how thin that is usually it's about this inch wide stuff but it's this very very uh flexible kind of flexible it's it's very workable and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it on threading of pipe before you attach like say the water supply lines uh that go to your faucets and toilets and things like that and uh you know i've done quite a bit of that in my lifetime so this is very very easy to work very easy to cut you just like kind of pull it with your arms and it or with your fingers and it rips in half and this is what i'm going to wrap around the haft and that should give me a really nice texture it won't be even and it'll be crimply and very easy to to mess up plus you get these cool uh, little thready bits and stuff so i can add that to it as well so once i apply this i think basically just primer will hold it on uh it should do well <clears throat> that if it doesn't hold on uh, very well i can always kind of you know take a toothpick or another paper clip and kind of spot weld some uh super glue on it you don't want it to pull up because you want that fine detail so you put the, the super glue on and then you could blow it and that super glue will will go around and use its capillary action and follow the grooves and stuff and hopefully sink into that i hope i don't have to use super glue on this application but it should it should be fun here oh easy to cut it might take a little bit of cussing and whatnot to uh, to get it to start but I think it's gonna be pretty nice once it does start so this is just what I've been working on it's been very very tedious getting all this terrible black paint off of this model but it's really nice for the rescue jobs uh, to restore stuff starting to like it a lot so you know what I'm not going to use such a sharp one because it might slice it I don't want it sliced choice looking very nice and it you know it's not taking much either so very very happy with this teflon tape here two-handed operation but that's fine and you know not that much swearing is involved plus it's breaking up that extremely straight 
uh, profile of the paperclip. So, very nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm giving a good texture to it. Yeah, boy. So, uh, and after this, I'm going to work on another horde of zombies, I think. I have a bunch of extra zombie bits. And, uh, I'm going to work on those guys. Come here. There we go. Bring it back up. I don't know if actual sculptors use this stuff, but uh, I kind of think they should. Because this is kind of awesome. And... I haven't taken much time at all. I'm still filming a goofy little video. So it's not much time to do this and it's looking pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, boy. Okay, well, can't say I'm upset about that. That's, that's sweet. I got nice, uh, texture on my piece and I mean that's exciting so all I need is an ultra small little part here for that part of the haft and we're in like flint and we can start with our priming and getting this thing looking not so gross so yeah it was a lot of scraping a lot of nonsense and then another weapon build for the the character on the back here uh, <clears throat> so me working on a whole butt ton of zombies I think I'll do 40 more I mean maybe I'll do a whole legion who knows I have a bunch but uh, anyway I haven't painted anything new I don't think it was just scraping if you guys can imagine, it's just, you know, you know, just scraping this paint. Oh, it just, it really, <laughs> it got to me. So that's why I'm like, you know, tag with it. I'm going to go ahead and just prime it all and see how it looks. But anyway, I thought that the weapon part would be cool for you guys to see. Just changing up the rider a little bit. Just a head swap, cut out the garbage um, pole arm thing. I already have one of those. Uh, and even the brand new one that I got broke in half. Uh, this, of course, was a previously loved model. And it's it had all kinds of green stuff glopped up here and on the, the hilt part to try to hold on to that big old pole weapon. And so I'm just breathing new life into this model, uh, trying to change it to something different. So so that maybe I could field something if I were to play the game itself. Anyway, you guys take it easy and carry a laser.